Welcome back, folks. Today's lab is technically not a um, CK lab because it has a step or two that only is, is doable in Minikube. You couldn't really do this on a DK cluster or anything like that. So that's why it doesn't qualify as a, as a CK exam lab. So it's only a normal Kubernetes lab for that matter. So what is the, what we're going to do today? We're going to make a web service within Minikube, which is locally running on the Mac, right? It's not anywhere outside, but we're going to make it so that it's accessible. The service is a web service, you know, HTTPD, whatever, Nginx. Um, we will um, we will make we, we will get to that service. We're, we're going to hit that service from our Mac, but from outside Minikube. All right. So that's the, that's the lab. And the instructions I got is from a website it's here. I'm following that instruction literally line by line. So I will leave the link to that page in the description below. Uh, by the way, if you do value this content, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that if you did that. All right, uh, so we're gonna go get started. So first we're gonna create a deployment based on a particular image that had, that runs uh, basically some kind of web server, all right? So first let's get, let's run a command to make sure that we are on Minikube. It's taking forever, I don't know why. Oh, you know what, I need to change context because earlier, I was on a DK cluster. So I'm going to change context, context to Minikube. Mini. I use KX as a shortcut for um, kubectx, which is, which is a freely available command line tool you can download for almost any platform. All right, so now if I do kget nodes, you will see that I'm connected to the Minikube. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is run this command. So what is this command doing? kubectl create deployment. You're going to create a deployment. And I'm going to give it a name, hello Minikube. It's exact, literally copy and paste from the website. And we're going to use that particular and Docker image to make that deployment happen. So that will be the pod that runs. All right, deployment is created. We can verify that by running k get deploy. K is shortcut for, for kubectl. So you can see that uh, deployment is running. If I do k get pod, you can see this is the pod that's running behind the scene for the deployment. So that's done. Now if I look if I look at the next step, we're going to expose that deployment as a service, right? And we're going to make it a node port type because node port services are available from outside the cluster. Um, and the cluster IP type service is not available. So we're going to, by default, cluster IP is the default, which is not accessible. So that, because of that, we have to mention that the type has to be node port and we're going to mention a port 8080. So we're going to do that. Again, these instructions are all from the same web page. Now, if we do kget SPC, you see that this is the service that's running. It's type node port and um, there's no external IP because you know it's just, we're not running on GKE or anything. This is the port that's available from outside. This is the port that's available on the back end. All right, so now, uh, now that's that's running, we can, we should, what you should really should do to get more clarity on this, we should do kget um, svc minus o wide. We should get a little bit more um, information on this. Um, do we get that? Not really, all we get is the selector, so no, not much. All right, so anyway, the service is running. So now the next step, is to run the special command only available for Minikube. It's gonna it's gonna create a tunnel for the service from my Mac to the URL of the service. So let's do that. This is what allows us to tr to get to the service from from outside Minikube, and it tells you exactly where to find it. And unfortunately, I'm not sharing my Chrome so you won't see it. But I'll run it and I will show you that. What I can do, I can show you the output. So I will show you. Um, let's get another shell open here. Dash and clear the screen. All right, let's make a little bigger font. Um, VIA. So because I wasn't sharing my Chrome, 
I put the output in a file that you can see. This is the output we got, HTTP, HTTP version 1.1. And essentially the point is we got there, we got a response back, right? We can do this also, hopefully you can do this using curl. Let's see if you can do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was curl this. I'm doing it on a different shell because if I do a control C on this, the tunnel will die, so they will no longer work. So if I do, I didn't mean to do that, curl that, and you see that we got some response back. Host is this, blah, 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 but not much, but it didn't error out, right? That's the whole point. All right, so again, so let's, say let's, let's look at, now we can do control C, we don't need that anymore. So what did we do today? We created a deployment on Minikube. We exposed it to make turn, in, turn this into a service, and then we created a tunnel so you can get to the service from outside the Minikube. That was the lab. All right, I will see you in the next um, Kubernetes lab.